Ford is a family company. And we see each generation of Ford people building the future for the next. And that's what gets us going every day. We want to create a better tomorrow for all of us. And to get there, we're taking a fresh look at what's to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ford President of North America, Raj Nair. Oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Ford Ranger. All new for North America and ready to help Ford take our rightful place in the mid-sized truck segment. We can actually look at the technology. Not only in a way that our nose, but also Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ford's head of product development and purchasing, Hal Tai Tang. Thank you. As you can see, the hottest segment gets even hotter with the new Edge ST. This is our most powerful SUV ever. It's also the most advanced and the first of a series on the way from the Ford Performance Group. <laughs> McQueen was my grandfather. Thank you. This October marks the 50th anniversary of his iconic film, Bullet. It brings premium to the compact class at a truly affordable price. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to announce today that this car will have a starting MSRP of $18,545. The 2019 Jetter is bolder and bigger, offering a timeless standard 1.4 the price point, the package, the content, uh, lease rates, etc., needs to be simply affordable, competitive, and uh, we wanted to make sure that um, that's part of our new approach, and we have also demonstrated it with the Atlas, uh, that we are pricing also into the heart of the American market. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the new G-Wagon. I think you'll agree it's instantly recognizable, yet better in every dimension. I have driven G-Wagons now for 25 years. That's a... So I love this car, this is my favorite SUV. Thank you, Congresswoman, for that very nice introduction. Many have concerns about the safety, security, and privacy of autonomous vehicle technologies. And a recent AAA survey found that 78% of Americans surveyed are afraid to ride 
in a driverless car. If you refer to it as a self-driving car, the anxiety drops a little bit, but there's still anxiety. Right now, there are many transportation rules, terms, and concepts that may no longer apply to an automated world. And the request for inputs will help the department and the government identify which regulations, parts of regulations, or terminology that need to be updated to allow for innovation to move forward.